Urban areas worldwide face increasing traffic congestion, pollution, and rising costs of car-centric infrastructures. And as is, as our cities uh, grow, so do the numbers of vehicles on the road, um, impacting both of the environments and quality of life. Uh, it's clear that we need a best, better solution to transport. So cycling offers a sustainable answer. Um, it's cost-effective eco-friendly and promotes a healthier lifestyle. Um, bike reduces traffic and emission while taking far less space on the road. City across the globe have already embracing the cycling as a alternative. But as we all know, uh, it has multiple challenges. Um, safety concerns, uh, limited bike lanes and unpredictable weather can kind of be, can also be major deterrents. Um, without proper hierarchy and consideration to the bike lanes, um, it's almost impossible to be safe on a road. So uh, to overcome these barriers, how we need to provide a safer and well-connected cycling path, improve infrastructures and cultural shift towards active transportation. There's multiple council plans proposal from um, the city of Maribyrnong has been in place and it's aiming towards 2040. Um, so on the screen right now, you can see this is the plan from Maribyrnong city. So it covers the variety of portion, but today our group is going to be focused on the main um, central areas of Fritzray, which is this yellow um, highlighted part. As we look closer into the smaller roads uh, within Footstray, for example, Hops Hopskin uh, Street, we can see the lack of uh, road uh, hierarchy. The street prioritizes cars over bikes, forcing cyclists to be uh, in a unsafe conditions. Uh, you know, safety issues uh, uh, that comes with it, plus the disconnected streets further discourage cycling to kind of create a fragmented network of routes that doesn't link to key destination. Our next portion is uh, some uh, reference from uh, other cities such as uh, Copenhagen so have done some uh, sky bridges uh, as well as um, some project in China as well um, which has already been built and proved to be very effective. Um, Here's our simulation regarding the demonstration of um, street um, and cycling lane fragmentation. So the disconnection between the red box, which is the starting point in the blue box, that's the uh, key destination. Next up, it's our proposal plan uh, that merges and and combined with the council proposal plan that helps connect all of these fragmented uh, portion of the cycling lanes as well as streetscape. We propose a solution, uh, a sky lanes, or elevated cycling paths that rise above the traffic, creating a dedicated interrupted space for cyclists. Um, by separating bikes from cars, pedestrians eliminate all of the safety risks ensuring a smoother and faster ride through the city. Um, these elevated paths not only connect key destination, but also linked all of the existing cycling networks, making them a game changer uh, for urban uh, transport. With Skylanes, we can create a safer much and much more direct routes for cyclists while freeing up space on the streets below. Thank you for listening. I hope you guys enjoy our presentation um, about cycling. Cheers.